Hey there and welcome back to the video about how we can connect our HTML template to WordPress in a nice way. Previously we just created these uh, field groups or we created one field group and we have two uh, advanced custom fields. One that is text, one that is a WYSIWYG editor. And how do we actually connect them in our code? Um, if we take a look first inside of the pages we had our home page that we created just before. And if we take a look inside this home page now, if it's gonna open it up, let's have a look. Now we can see it's changed a little bit. Now we got the white box header text and we also had the instructions there. So write the header here. And then we have this cool WYSIWYG editor where this is the description part of the, uh, the white box here. And um, so that will allow the user to actually decide what heading should it be, should we attach a link, whatever. A lot of cool stuff can go in here. So I want to basically take the content from the HTML theme here, and I'm just going to copy this in the box there, and I'm going to take the, the description here and put it into my editor. Boom. And that is fine, I think. And let's just update this. So you can have a whole bunch of different uh, fields here if you wanted to do that. Pretty much the sky is the limit right now. And you could also do images, image fields, if you wanted, uh, if you wanted to attach an image to whatever, like this one here. Um, if we go update, let's have a look. Probably it's not going to reflect anything. And well, it will display it, but it is not really connected to this right now, because if I change this, uh, it's not going to reflect it, and that is because we haven't uh, we haven't connected it to the PHP file. But we're going to do this in a second. You see, it doesn't reflect it. So we need to uh, go back to our editor and find here. Let's just first find the H2 here. So this is hard coded stuff, and that means that we can't change it from inside WordPress. So we need to use PHP again, and we will, again, I'm gonna make the opening and closing PHP tags, and then we need to type in another command called the field. And basically what we need to put in now here is we need to put in the, uh, the name of the field. And that was, actually it was the white box header text, but all lowercase and with um, underscores. So white box header text like this, okay? And so let's just save that one here. And if we make a small change here, I just want to see that it actually works now. Okay, we say update here. And if we go back to our WordPress, we can see we got a change here. It will, this is from the WordPress now, okay? I can, I can be in the backend now and actually update this content now. It's not static anymore. All right, so what do we do with the other one? Uh, well, we do the same thing. We will take, this is three three paragraphs. Do we have word wrap on this? Boom. Uh, this is actually three paragraphs, so I think we're just gonna do it like this here. Boom, and opening and closing tag again, the field and white box uh, description text. Let's see if this will work and probably we need to change the content. Oh, we got, we actually got two to two, so it's gonna be okay. And let's see again, we can see there, we got dynamic stuff from WordPress now. And Boom, just delete the 2 to 2, update it, go back here, should hopefully reflect it, and that is it basically. Okay, this kind of concludes the series because uh, I just wanted to show that you can inject dynamic custom fields in your, in any static HTML and CSS template, and uh, then you can edit the content from inside the backend of uh, WordPress, and maybe you think about why does it say H2 and we don't have any paragraph down here? That is because we got the WYSIWYG editor that 
is automatically set for a paragraph. So it's going to inject the p tag automatically. Yeah, we could also make the header text um, kind of a WYSIWYG, and then we could decide it, if it should have an H2 or an H1 or whatever heading that should be. Um, yeah, I didn't do that right now. But this kind of con uh, concludes how we can take an HTML and CSS template and how we can convert it into WordPress uh, pretty easily, I think, using the Advanced Custom Fields free plugin. This is the free version. You don't have to pay for that. All right. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.